Good evening, everyone, and welcome back. We are halfway through our work week already on this Wednesday. Almost full moon shining quite brightly across town right now with mostly clear skies. The full moon actually arrives here on Friday. Right now here in Fargo, uh, we are continuing to see some clear skies. Temperature is still rather quite comfortable at 64 degrees. Wind is out of the southeast at 8 miles per hour. Moorhead a little bit cooler now sitting at 59 degrees in Grand Forks. Just a couple of lingering clouds, but generally quiet 61 degrees southeasterly wind at 8 miles per hour. Temperatures for most across the valley are in the low 60s. We have a few 50s 58 down in Aberdeen. We're at 59 in Wadena, Detroit Lakes and in Oaks 56. The coolest spot right there down in Sisseton, South Dakota. We're at 60 in Bemidji and in Jamestown as well. Satellite and radar shows that we're mostly clear now after a mostly cloudy afternoon and much of our evening. We've cleared out, but we have another cloud deck just now moving into the Devil's Lake Basin and our far westernmost counties of eastern North Dakota. Not a thick cloud deck, but we'll continue to see some gradually increasing cloud cover in parts of northeastern North Dakota and a few lingering clouds out to the far east as well through the rest of uh, our evening and into the early overnight hours. So just a few passing clouds and the potential for some patchy fog as well. Most of it's looking to be out to the east, but of course Lisa Green will keep you posted with any fog development tomorrow morning on the valley today. The breeze continues overnight as well. It's not going to be windy, but the breeze is going to pick up into the afternoon hours out of the south and east, and then it becomes a little gustier where you see the yellow greenish shaded arrows. That's where we anticipate wind gusts to be around 30 to possibly up to 35 miles per hour. Temperatures for the lunch hour warming into the 60s and then a few more clouds move in, so we'll be in and out of cloud cover throughout our Thursday afternoon. Remaining gusty as well. Temperatures warming up into the uh, 60s and 70s, a little warmer right through the Central Valley where temperatures are expected to warm into the mid 70s, possibly upper 70s for places like Sisseton. Just a little bit cooler in the slightly higher elevations outside of the valley. So 67 in Bemidji for the five o'clock hour tomorrow, 68 in Devil's Lake. And we have more rain in the forecast just in case he didn't get enough over the last several days. Our next chance though, it's going to come on Friday morning, so Thursday night still looking quiet with increasing cloud cover. But by the time we're waking up on Friday, we may actually be woken up to some heavy rain and rumbles of thunder as this next system slides on in through the morning hours. So the morning drive on Friday could be a wet one, might need those windshield wipers on high. Again, we'll continue to watch that as well. But good news, it's not going to last all day. It's going to move out by the early afternoon hours. There could be some stronger storms, mostly to the south and east. We'll continue to keep you posted on the very latest as usual. Looking at your proceed farming forecast, a couple of warmer days are still in store. So feeling a little fall like the last couple of days. Warmer and breezy for tomorrow, cooler with the rain on Sunday or Friday rather. But then we warm up Sunday, the warmest day of the forecast period, and that happens to be October 1st. Another chance of some showers or storms on Tuesday before we're back to maybe feeling like fall. And kicking then. off October in the 80s for things change probably pretty quickly. Yes, yeah, right. doesn't quite seem right, but enjoy <laughs> it. Enjoy it while we can. <laughs> Thanks, Summer. Uh, you remember, of course, those nationwide riots following the death of George Floyd. They've led to some surprising health problems for some women. We'll tell you about that next.